One on one. Now she starts in. Going to send this across the middle. Trying to set up the header attempt. Too far out of the reach of Jane Everett, the Blacksburg product. She's going to send it in, but it's going to deflect off of Chattanooga's Macy Fox. Perez, though, battling, sends it in. Pitch it to a teammate. She sends it in, and it's stopped by Coppins. That ball looked like it was sailing in. I mean, I felt like we were kind of taking it to them a little bit in the first half. We had good possession. We were keeping it down. We had chances. We just, we didn't want to go out of it scoreless. And I think that we were wearing them down a little bit. I think that our full, we're a very fit team this year, and I think that definitely showed. We were a little panicky in like the first 10 minutes, but afterwards we were able to settle down and find people. And I think a lot of hard work just went into it. We. Like I said, we're a fit team, and we were able to just keep taking it to them. And even like we had so many opportunities, and we needed to finish one. So I don't think any of us wanted to go out of their scoreless. So. Able to get a foot on it, however. Here's a ball that sent in, and it hits the top of the post. It was tapped away by Dean. What a play by the Radford. Everett looking for Perez. Nalia able to play it. Turns and kicks. Oh, my goodness. And the ball just sailed to the Battling the Mox defense, plays it ahead. The ball is sent in, deflected, and hits the top of the post. It's still yeah, I mean, I thought the first half we played really well. Some of the best soccer we've played all year. And, um, you know, I, I just think we just uh, kept getting chances, and I felt like the, uh, the door was going to open eventually, you know. And um, I was happy with the way we played in the first half, and uh, you know, I thought Nalia had a tremendous half uh, getting in line. And, uh, but the second half, uh, actually, I thought the second half we started out a little shaky. They, they, they changed things a little bit. We had to adapt. I think once we made the defensive changes, it changed. And then, uh, but the goal, you know, the first goal was a great goal. You know, it touched all three of our fours. It should be a double assist. Uh, Jane crossed in, header from Nalia across the front of the goal, and uh, Jesse being where she's supposed to be and finishing, and then uh, scoring on a set piece late. So, as a coach, that's all you can ask for, you know. And uh, but I was, uh, I was real happy with the effort tonight. They're a good team. They're well coached, well organized. Uh, so, uh, very happy about it. To Everett, is this Radford's opportunity now? Here's Jane, she's going to send it in across the field. Perez with the header, she gets it out, and it's in! On the assist, the header to Everett! Check that, Woolman! Woolman, what teamwork there, Perez! And Jess Woolman knocks in. She knows the clock is on her side. Giannone sends it in, the bender, that's a good high deep kick, it gets away, and it's in! The deflection is in! And I believe that's Jasmine Casares! I think we've, I mean, we've become really well synchronized a lot of our forwards and we work well together having been through a year together and been through a spring together and I think that it's definitely starting to show as we get a little bit more experience on the field but I think that every single person that is in the forward line has a desire to score so I think it's been really good for us because we all want the ball we all want to put it in the back of the net and it shows in our work ethic and it shows in our like our movement off the ball and our movement on it yeah I mean I, I think uh, fitness has a lot to do with it I mean um, you know, we, uh, we, our team right now, they came in from the summer ready to go. And uh, it's the highest fitness level we've had here as a team. And so uh, it's just, it's, I think this was why the second halves have been so, uh, so positive. 